Hi everyone, I'm Bryony from Clifton Sky Yoga and this is a twisty flow. So we're going to start off on our hands and knees, hands underneath shoulders, knees are underneath your hips. You're going to take your right leg all the way out behind you and then bend your right knee, bring it through so your right foot comes in between your hands. Your knee is above your ankle here, finding yourself in a low lunge position. Your spine is long, your chest is open. Planting your left hand into the mat, turn your body towards the right, take the right arm up, look up, twist here. Keep your right knee central, don't let it wander out. Float that hand back down. Plant the right hand in the mat, turn the body towards the left, take the left arm up, looking up. And floating that hand back down. Press through your fingertips, step your right foot back to meet your left. Now take your left leg out behind you, reach with the left toes, bend the left knee, bring the left foot all the way through in between your hands, walking that foot forwards until your knee is above your ankle. Your spine is long, your chest is open. And plant your right hand into the mat, turn the body towards the left. Take the left arm up, looking up. Try not to let the right knee wander out, keep it central. And then floating that hand back down, turn the body towards the right, take the right arm up, looking up. And floating that hand back down. Press your hands into the mat, step your left foot back to meet the right. Press into your fingertips, tuck your toes under. Push your pelvis towards the ceiling into your down facing dog, pedaling it out just for a moment. So your pelvis is high, your spine is long, your chest is coming in between the shoulders. Your knees are bent if they need to be. Press your left heel down towards the mat, bend the right knee, bring the right foot all the way through in between your hands, making sure that knee is above the ankle, pressing through the fingertips, Look up slightly. Your spine is long, press through that back heel. Press your left hand into the mat, turn the body towards the right, taking your right hand up. Breathing in your twist. And floating that hand back down again. Press the right hand into the mat, take the left arm up, looking up. Push through the back heel, straighten that back leg, open your chest. And float that hand back down again. Press through the fingertips, step your right foot back to meet your left. Pedal at your down facing dog. Your pelvis is high, your spine is long. And then you're pressing your right heel down towards the mat, you're bending your left knee, you're stepping your left foot forwards in between your hands. You're pushing through your back heel, your knee is above your ankle. Your spine is long, your chest is open here. And then you're pressing your right hand into the mat, turn the body towards the left, take the left arm up, looking up. Breathe in your twist. And then floating that hand back down again. Turn your body towards the right, take the right arm up, looking up. Push through your back heel, straighten your back leg. And then floating that hand back down again. Press your hands into the mat. Step your right foot forwards in between your hands into your standing forward fold. Hang here. Your weight is forward into your toes, maybe holding opposite elbows. Hang your head, your neck, your shoulders. Maybe swaying slightly side to side or backwards and forwards. Okay, release the arms, slowly uncurling the spine. Come all the way back up into a standing position. Roll your shoulders back and down. And bring your hands into prayer at your heart centre. Tuck your pelvis under, your feet are hip width apart. Squeeze your glutes and come and sit down in your chair position. Turn your body towards the right, sit down a little bit lower, bring the outside of the left elbow to the outside of the right leg. Use that to twist. 
You can either stay here, focusing on keeping your knees level, don't let the left hip wander in front of the right, or you can step your left foot back into your lunge, pushing through that heel, straightening that leg. You can keep your hands into prayer or you can open your arms out. Breathe. Bring your hands back into prayer if you need to. Step your left foot forwards if you need to. Bring your body back to the center. Straighten your legs, fold forwards, hang here. Slowly uncurling your spine, rebuilding one vertebra at a time, coming all the way up. Tuck your pelvis under, bring your hands into prayer at your heart center. Squeeze your glutes and come and sit down into your chair position. And turning your body towards the left, sit down a little bit lower, bring the right elbow to the outside of the left leg. You can either stay here focusing on keeping those knees level, or you can step your right foot back into your lunge, pushing through that heel, straightening that leg. You can keep your hands in prayer or you can open the arms out. Breathe. Bring your hands back to prayer if you need to. Step your right foot forwards if you need to. Turn your body back to the centre, straighten your legs, hang here. Bend your knees so you can place both hands flat on the mat. Walking your feet out towards the edges of the mat, your heels are pointing in, your toes are pointing out. Bend your knees so you can sit your bottom all the way down into your squat position. So, you want to sit your bottom all the way down, your knees are coming out towards the sides. You bring your hands into prayer at your heart centre, your elbows press into the inside of the legs. Your spine is long, your chest is open. Opening both arms out wide here, keeping your right arm where it is, open your left arm out towards the ceiling. Open the chest, twist here. Then bring both hands back to your prayer position. Opening both arms out, keep your left arm where it is, open the right arm out towards the ceiling, twist here. And coming back to your prayer position. Thank you very much for watching. I hope you enjoyed. If you did, subscribe to my channel and let me know how you got on in the comments.